<laughs> Today's video, I was a little hesitant to put it out, but you know what? I'm not hesitant at the same time because I share everything with you guys. And also, I feel like this would help any of you because, I mean, this is the point why I put my life out here. There. Out here. In these streets. Just because, like, what if you're going through something similar that I went through and sharing it, even though it's, like, personal. I don't know. If it can help someone even have clarity of what they're going through or what they've been through, etc. Uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. A backstory on this is just that we, I used to see this guy when I was living in New Mexico. I wasn't living, I was visiting there. Uh, and I was seeing this guy for a while. It's been over a year actually, officially, because that's how I like, all these feelings started getting brought up when I saw, you know how there's a Snapchat, like what a year ago from today? I saw myself, I'll, I'll, I'll insert it right now. Just looking at myself was weird because it, it brings back, it's like one of those things where it's like when you hear a song that you used to have with like a person, you're just like, oh shoot, it feels, the, you know, it brings the feelings back in. And I don't know, it did for me too, because it was just like, wow, I was very, I wasn't like different, but I was different. I'm different, but I was different. I mean, I think we grow daily um, into who we're supposed to become. But back then I just was like, Ugh. I was just like wanting love really bad. And I think I was not loving myself in the process. Cause I was just really wanting him. Like one of those things where it's like, you swear it's them. Like, that's the one. And I think I forced it a little too much. And I totally take responsibility for that. Because, like, I mean, it's a two-way street on any, you know, relationship, friendship, whatever. You know, there's always two sides to every story. This video is not to bash him. I needed closure that I never received. And I never let out the feelings and sadness and hurt ever to him. I never had a chance to. Him not knowing what I was feeling and how I felt in the moment and how I, everything. And then almost a week ago, he wrote me just like positive vibes and just saying like nice things to me, right? And I was just like taking them like, thank you so much. But the more like, I was just like texting, I was like, I'm mad at you. <laughs> I'm mad. Like I was still like, I didn't know like things, if not having closure with someone. Could, you could actually feel like a grudge. And usually like I'm the last person in the world I would think that would hold anything against anyone. I don't know, I was trying to vlog that day and like it was supposed to be a vlog for my, my nephew's birthday and I was like, I was already like started it two days later before and I was all going for it and I was just anxious. Like I was just not having a good day. Everything was bugging me. And then like this thing was happening, the conversations. And I'm just like, dude, what the hell? Like, ow. I need to get this off my chest. Like I can't just act and be fake and act like nothing's wrong. Like he didn't hurt me, you know? So what you're about to see is basically me vlogging during the day. And I, I just, I was writing him while I was driving to my sister. I started with something like, I want to hate you. <laughs> I want to hate you, but I think I will always love you and Then it went from that to him like being literally oblivious to like what the hell I was gonna say And he thought I was mentioning because of something else that happened and I was just like no and then I just laid it I laid it all out there once I pressed sent like I just turned it on and I did not know I was gonna be because I turn I just turn the camera on all the time vlog life and just to get little snippets of everything because I don't really like plan too much with my vlogs I just like turn it on and then it'll like whatever put it together I'm just gonna share it with you guys because I feel like cl not having closure in a relationship or friendship even That with the person that you cared about like really f sucks even if it did end cordially Like sometimes you still have questions like what the hell like what happened like Again, I just want to say there's no hate. There's no nothing. I just, it was one of those things I just had to speak my truth and get it out 
and that's it if you want an update i never heard back from him which i didn't expect to <laughs> I, I feel a hundred times better i don't know how to explain it if you are going through something like this or like anything remotely close to like not having closure or not having like it it is interesting feeling so when you do have that closure or just say what you need to say and be done it is so relieving anyways okay here it is i'm a little shaky right now tell me what you said oh gosh okay I know you like him and I feel like this because Well no, I will I will always love the guy. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay. So um I said no, that's not why I say that. Because he said like he thought I said I hate him for like not writing or him not writing me back or something. Mm -hmm. And I said no. That's not why I say that. If anything, that was just another thing of you not being honest with me. But I want to, I just want to say, or I, but I say I want to hate you because I hate the fact that during our entire relation, our entire time we spent together, I can't help but feel like you led me on. Uh, your words didn't match up with your actions. Yes, you told me to take everything slow, but then to completely ghost me just really showed me who you were and how you truly didn't feel the way you, uh, you said you felt about me. Then the last straw was when I went to New Mexico to pick up my car and I was excited because I wanted to surprise you that I knew there was a game coming up and I knew you'd be going so that's why that's why or that's when I called you and I told you and you didn't seem to be excited so I backed off because obviously didn't feel like you wanted to see me. Well, turns out I was right. Then when I texted you, you replied with the most hurtful words saying I expected you to drop everything just for me. Well, no, I didn't expect that from you but I did expect maybe five minutes out of your day for a hug. That's all I wanted from you. <laughs> and um, I didn't want to say his name and you yeah. and you couldn't even give me that so yeah I want to hate you but I can't and I won't I don't know what you were going through because you were never completely open with me but I do know what I deserve and I and I know if I, I know I do know what I deserve and I know if a man wants me he will make it happen and you fell short from that I would have called you or say this to you in person but you're hard to reach I still wish you nothing but the best and know one day you're gonna make a girl very happy and as and as well she will for you but I needed to let this out and I've been carrying it with me for over a year and I really can't just text back and forth with you acting like you really didn't break my heart. Oh, 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 oh. that's so cute. <laughs> that made me want to cry. Yeah, I'm crying too. Oh, that's so funny. Because I know how much you cared for him. So I know how much, how much you needed to get that out of your chest, you know? For like a year, dude, I didn't realize like... I know, I know, I know. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize like how like it actually like affected me until like, like I'm like mad now, you know? Like why now yeah. are you like acting like everything's okay? When like, yeah. like you, you were to me, you know? Yeah. And like he... Literally broke your heart, you know. <sighs> yeah, I'm glad you got it out of your system, Mama. I know you have been. This has been a long time coming. I know that for sure. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I'm right, sorry. Okay. I love you. Oh, no, no, you're fine. I'm over here crying. With you. I'm sorry. I love you. Okay. I love, I love you. Bye -bye. you. I'll call you when I'm at Nana's. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bro, I don't have eyelash glue. <laughs> but man. We, we make it through, okay? We make it through and we get better and we get smarter. I just thought that tree was a person. <laughs> I just got so scared. I love you and we're gonna get through this, whatever you're going through, okay? I thought I could never get through that, but I did. I let's go. This is me. This is me.